Alright guys, so you guys wanted a video on flex fuel and filling up. You guys are some of you guys are a little confused about it and asked me to make a quick video about how to get the ethanol percentages correct. So as you can see, I've got ethanol percent 34, 35, like right at 35. I'm tuned for 35. I've got a little less than half a tank. A full tank is 12.4 gallons. You never want to really drive with less than a quarter tank because Supposedly it gets the little low pressure fuel pump sock filter really dirty in the fuel tank So I'll fill up now. I'll just assume that I need to put a little more than half a tank so 6.2 is half a tank. I'll just calculate for like seven gallons So here's what you do All right guys, so just Google E85 calculator and you'll see a bunch of links. Uh, a lot of these websites help you calculate it, but I found the best one is this one, Tune Plus. Some of them, other ones don't have like calculating for like exactly E35, 45, 55. They'll only have like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So open this link, enter your gas tank size. You can skip the car because it's like, it'll just enter the value for you if you have like certain Ford cars. So the 93, at my station is 10%, 85 is 85 based off of my ethanol testing kit. I want 35, current fuel percentage, it's just guess 40% and I'm at 35. So it says 2.48 gallons of E85, 4.96 gallons of 93. Result will be 35% ethanol. So my Chevron offers 85 and E15, so I'm gonna give it a little shake, make sure I get everything out, cause there might be some E15 in there. All right, so I'm ready to fill up 2.48 gallons of E85. All right, it's time for 4.96 of 93. Give it a little shake, get all the other crap out. All right. All right, let's see if we did this correctly. to the Flash Pro. You're gonna need to drive a little bit. So if you notice that you're way over like at 38, 39 ethanol content, then you're just gonna have to burn some fuel and then uh, add more 93. And then the same thing if it's like the other way around. If you notice you're sitting at 28 to 30, you're gonna have to burn some fuel and add some 85. You might see some spikes in the level, but yeah, you need to give it a good few miles before all the fuel mixes up and you get a better reading of your percentage. Because it did spike to like 40 for a second, but it's starting to level out around 35, 36. But yeah, I guess uh, it should be perfect. I'm seeing like 34, 35, right around there. Yep. So that's all there is to it when you fill up for whatever tune you're running, whether it's E30, 40, 50. So another way to check the percentage is actually connecting to the PRL Flex Fuel Analyzer's Wi-Fi. And so you just go to your Wi-Fi settings, connect to the sensor, and it'll show you on your screen right there exactly 34. I feel like the Honda app is a little more accurate because it's showing like up to like two extra decimal places. You'll want to test the E85 at whatever gas station you'll be using the most because not all E85 is actually 85. You can see on the pump it says maybe 55 to 85 percent ethanol. So just run the test. The test kit is cheap. It's like 13 bucks on Amazon, and you can reuse it multiple times. 
So this is what the ethanol tester looks like. I got it off Amazon, it's like 10 bucks. So you're gonna fill up water to the blue line, E85 from your station to the red line. You're gonna shake it and then you're gonna see the liquids actually separate. And you wanna leave it on like a level surface. You'll literally see the water separate at the top and all the E85 will stay at the bottom. And it'll stop exactly at the percentage where with the uh, ethanol content in that fuel. So I've already tested the Chevron that I go to and it's exactly 85. So they've got good E85 and moving forward I can just use the online calculator to calculate how much I need to put in to hit exactly E35. And the good thing about this kit is it's reusable. You just fill it water, ethanol, shake it, test it. Luckily the E85 gas station for me is literally a mile away. Prior to this Chevron opening up right down the street, the closest E85 station was like 10 minutes from me and it made me a little lazy to fill up with it. But yeah, I mean you get you definitely get a lot more power and it's burning cooler and cleaner. So the benefits do outweigh the hassle of having to find an E85 gas station. There are websites that'll tell you where to have E85 near you. I'll post it in the description. So yeah, get flex fuel.